Welcome back, Finker family. On this week's episode, we're going to introduce you a new horse. You're going to see all about her new arrival and how she starts to settle in here. We're also going to tell you a little bit about the story of our four kittens that were found in a barranco. So I hope you enjoy. I'm Emma and this is Edu. We're the founders of Tenerife Horse Rescue. We are a small non-profit, self-founded, eco-friendly animal sanctuary born in 2018. We are run by a great big family of volunteers. And an even bigger animal family. Don't forget to press the subscribe button to follow our Finca Life adventures every week. So this one we took a leap of faith and had to, for some reason, had to jump the queue. We were told she really, really needed our help. Wow. That's, yeah. Now we can see why. Look at the state of our... Oh, it's Migs, out the way. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up. So yeah, he knows that we have a waiting list, but um, this one, the same as Aslan and Zingra, had to jump the queue and we hope, we don't know, don't know anything yet hoping that we can, she had to jump the queue because we had an emergency to get out of the terrible state. Smeagol, out of the way! <laughs> Jesus, look at that. Whoa, look at the back end. Aslan's 20. So, as we haven't really got a lot of space until we get the new land, which we're taking a leap of faith that we will get the new land, we're uh, hoping that Shanty is going to be nice to her and that she can go in there. Sneagle, leave her alone. Oh, she wants a close up. Right, should we take her down to the bottom and see what happens? Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we're going to hope that Shanty is going to be nice to her. Shanty and Eric and. Look at her. <laughs> hey, what's going on, you girl? Well, it's quite nice to have a girl. I don't know. They don't often. I, I doubt it. I haven't asked, but I doubt it. They rarely do. Oh, she's got shoes on. Yes. Yeah, not great. Not as bad as it is. But refreshing to have a. Smeagol, come out of the way. Smeagol, leave her alone. Smeagol, I don't know if she's going to kick you with shoes on. Speaks. I'm here. I'm nervous. Smeagol, come here. Smeagol, out. Smeagol! Can you see? Smeagol! Smeagol! If she gets kicked in the head by those shoes, she'll know about it. But she probably still won't learn. You know what she's like. Smeagol! Welcome to your new home, eh? Yeah? So they don't have to deal with mud on their main. Right, dogs, come here, all the way, give her space. So we've moved Eric out for a little bit just to give her a chance because Eric can be a bit feisty with a new one, but we don't have any more space. So we couldn't leave her, we couldn't say no. Apparently she was an emergency. I'll try and find out some more about about why or what's happened to her. And um now try and find out some more information. At the moment we know nothing and we trust his judgment because he knows we have a waiting list. But the ones that he gives us emergency like Zingro and Aslan were emergencies and for the condition of her it's getting worse and worse after lockdown. Shanti you've got to be nice. Shanti! 
Shanti. Oh, wait, let me get some. Oh. Shanti, be nice to her. You need to make friends with her. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a nice. Typical, Typical Shanti, yep. Yeah. Right, how do we get these guys over here? Should we get some crackers on this end and then they might come to us? And then we can give her a chance to get in. Nella, you can have another male friend. At the moment, we only have three, so. Smeagol, out the way. Smeagol. where we would put her first and she could get introduced slowly. However, we don't have that. Do you want to go for it? Are you going in? Oh yeah, in an ideal world, we would do it slowly, but we haven't got an option at the moment. Leave the head collar on, but take, yeah, just the rope and then we can catch her again if there's an emergency. Come on, dogs. Come on, come here. They'll move. Right, Capri, you've got your own girlfriend, Capri, remember? Smeagol! Belu, come here! She's probably not used to so much space, because they all do this every time they just arrive, they get so excited about so much space. Nella! They normally do, right here, don't they? Oh! Well, Capri, that was, wasn't bad. Capri's normally a bit more. See. You've already got a girlfriend, you don't need her. This is for you, Shanti. Oh goodness. This is Nella's face, like there's a new girl. Oh, Nella. Nelly normally just pulls faces but doesn't do a lot, so hopefully. Oh, straight up. Baloo, come here! Oh. Capri, you're blocking our view. New girls having a roll in the background. She got up surprisingly well as well. Up there, like, oh no, I'm not the new boy anymore. Oh, dies. Be nice. Come here, Nella. Come here, Nella's not practicing her mare step. Bellu's <laughs> chasing a butterfly. <laughs> Quite a calm meeting so far. Yeah, we haven't put Eric in there yet. Yeah, Nella just pulls faces. I'm not worried about her. She doesn't do anything. Look at the singer. I know. Looking at it. Like, there's somebody new down there. Oh god, look at her back end. She's like two horses put together. Set up, Shanti. This is hopefully your girlfriend. <laughs> well, she is, but she's not as bad as many of the others. I mean, she's not as bad as Aslan and Zingaroa and Dikika. No, really. She's probably near the top end of least skinny horses. Yeah, really. That's how bad it is to be here. How long does it take for them to like stop recovering and let them gain weight? It depends on the age. Like Zingaro's put on weight super super quick, but Aslan hasn't. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's really young. No, no. 15, I think he said, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's true. No idea. But yeah, Aslan's got other problems, so he's really struggling. 
Quarantine had put on weight really quick once we treated his ulcers. Whereas Dikika and Turbo, because they're so old, are really, really taking ages. Yeah, that seems quite all right. Did he say any information about her? Does he know anything? Stopped giving her food. It's not worth paying for anymore. I don't hear that story so often. Yeah, he's being quite nice, isn't he? Maybe You see what happens when we bring her again. Huh? Yeah. Oh, what do you? What's going on, guys? It's a new girl. <laughs> so I guess she doesn't have a name. Did we find out? Oh no. I don't know. I don't know if Tamara asked. I just found out that she just got left without food, nothing more. <laughs> nope. It's really sad that this becomes normal. Like that this, you know, skinny horse arrives, no name, and it's normal. Well, how is that? Okay, what's happened to the world that that's normal, right? It should be totally shocking, but we've been doing long enough to... The drama going on over there. Bruno's not enjoying having Eric in his, uh, in his paddock while the new girl set them in. See, this is the big problem we have here. Oh, I don't know if you're going to hear me over wind now. I haven't got the microphone on. Um, this is the biggest problem we have here, is that we don't have enough space when new arrivals come, and we have to sort of move them around and swap them around, and there's a lot of politics with horses together. And we had a really lovely harmony. <laughs> we didn't want to um, break it, but we couldn't say no to her. So we'll see. Which has been really good with Tamara, letting her take catch her, take her collar off. She seems quite calm. I'm gonna have to take her shoes off quite quickly. As you can see, she's enjoying her first breakfast here at the Finca. Look at his ears. Oh, one's falling off. Three weeks old fight.
I have to go through my bathroom. And then we've got like a double door for the quarantine. No, it's me, she's not coming. Oh, that's done. <laughs> and then we have a quarantine in here for the little cats with our vaccination. Mousies, hey! Mousies! Oh! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh meow! Hmm? We uh, built this room we, like a year ago we fundraised to make this little quarantine because there were so many sick animals and kittens that are not vaccinated and leukemia was so common around here that we need someone to shut them in before we put them out. No vaccinations. So today they're going for the first vaccination so hopefully that they can come outside soon. Meow meow, sorry. No, it's not really exciting going in the box, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> I promise. Right, two missing. Yeah, there's four there. Gone into my bathroom. Here they are. Oh, one down. Come here. Uh. And Greyhead, come here. Why are you sitting in the water? It's weird. <laughs> To, um, one of my friends got a sanctuary as well, Ark Noah. They've, I think they've actually been on the island for about 25 years and they, um, they, they, <laughs> wants to be in the they really helped us at the beginning with, um, um, well we, they had a lot, didn't have a lot of space left so we took some of their cats and dogs and they helped us with funds and they helped us with, they um, sponsored one of our horse paddocks at the beginning as well because they're really well established and uh, they like what we're doing and then we've sort of bonded a um, alliance. What is it? With uh, so no, what's the word? What do we call them? There was a word. It even says it on my website. What there is? A, there is a word. I can't remember what it is. It'll come to me in a minute. But we um we work together so we can help each other out. I mean we're all doing the same thing. We're all trying to look, look after animals. So we um they're much more specialised in cats and dogs, and then we help more with the farm animals and horses and things. But because there's so many cats and dogs, we end up with loads of those as well. But we go to them to do. Um, other things that we can't do. So today we're going to take the kittens to have their blood tests to check for leukemia. So if they're all healthy then they get to have their vaccinations and uh, then in two weeks they get more vaccinations and then they get to be outside if we don't. But, um, that's all. It's coming around the corner very fast, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, don't want to fall off that edge. Yeah, they've got a really lovely sanctuary that's been here for, I'm pretty sure it's 25 years, she'll, she'll tell us. And it's so lovely, it's the cleanest sanctuary I've ever been to. And, uh, and it's in such a lovely quiet area as well. Still can't think of that word. Baloo! <laughs> Look here, I want to go to the camera. Affiliate, that's the word. <laughs> yeah, affiliate. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we're really honoured and proud to be that they've sort of chosen to help us and work with us. And then we've bonded, um, like formed really good friendship together. So, yeah. <laughs> he's desperate to be in the camera. Lovely. It's because he chewed through his seatbelt. He, he, he chews through leads, we tied him up the seatbelt, and within two minutes he chewed through it. Yes, naughty dog. And here it is. Yeah, where are we? 
you come in? Ellie, come on. Hello. He just panicked because he couldn't get out that door. Come on. Mess with my car. This is the work spot. Come on, Ellie. And my mask, but you can see what it looks like. because it's really, really common on this island. Uh, don't quote me on the number, but I've heard somewhere that it's like one in three of unvaccinated... Is it one in three unvaccinated cats have leukemia on this island? Mm. Yeah. yeah, it is, right? Something yeah. like that. So, um, yeah, it's really, really yeah. common. So let's hope, little ones. I've lost one. Daddy! team up here to get the vet comes to here and we all join together to save the vets are really nice and they help us by saving money because we're both charities and need all the help so we stop all muck and come got a little flea in your tail so we uh, come and do them all together and we do with our dogs last month I think we brought seven dogs here to be um, have their rabies jab and it's much cheaper for us to do it all together Mm -hmm. Wouldn't do that if I did, but you we weren't like that. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, there's one by my feet, wherever I look, there's a cat. Can I sit down? Why are we waiting for the bed? Maybe mm -hmm. you've forgotten your traumatic experience yet. Yeah? It's pairing now. Mm -hmm. So much. Huh. Hello. Not doing anything. Yeah, I'm fine. 
and then they can join the real world with our other 35 cats. But if you'd like to sponsor them, you can sponsor them on patreon.com forward slash Tenery Force Rescue. And uh, yeah, we thank you very much for watching this week's episode. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week. <laughs>